In today's video I'll be showing you how I completed, for the most part, the vivarium that I've been setting up over the past few videos. This is going to be like the latest entry in a diary of events, as I can't really explain why I've done what I've done until you see what reptiles I'll be putting in here. So, if you just want to see the completed build, then this is going to be the video for you, as I'll be saving all the major explanatory bits, like how I selected the right lamps for the enclosure and what the steel tubes in the background are for, for future videos. Anyway, now that I've told you this, I'll hand back over to me for myself to get this job done. Can you believe that we are already on day five of this build? Five days spent making this viv, and I'm still not finished yet, but um, hopefully today I should be able to get it done. Uh, you'll see that I started off doing the electrics yesterday, but I'm going to finish those off today. Uh, I'm going to install the heat lamp, got another LED to put in, going to get the thermostat rigged up, all the timers and all that stuff. And then that's like the last massive job to do. And then uh, what I'll do after that is brush down the background, as I said I would, uh, put the substrate in, get some plants in there, put the doors in, clean up everything, and then it should hopefully be done. But it won't do itself, so I've got to crack on. Oh my god, we're finally done. <sighs> Putting all of these lamps in has taken a ridiculous amount of time. Uh, it's like 3 o'clock or something in the afternoon now. And I started straight away in the morning. And the reason for that is that this heat lamp had to be wired up from nothing. And I've not wired something up before, really, uh, so I needed a bit of a hand with that. And after we got that done, uh, I got going, and then dropped this entire box of screws on the floor in a great big pile. And I had to spend absolutely ages sorting them out so that they were all in the correct boxes, so they were all the same size together. So that set us back a bit. We have got... Well, one, two, three, four, five lamps. Uh, two of them, the silvery shiny ones, are, which you'll have seen in the unboxing, are the Arcadia 6% Pro T5 units to provide the UVB. Uh, I've got a Jungle Dawn LED here, three feet long, and then going round in separate different pieces is a little warm white multiple LED strip. As explained in the photo periods video, I have this all timed so that the halogen lamp which is in this is going to come on earliest alongside the warm white LEDs. Then I'm going to have the Jungle Dawn LED bar and one of the um, UVB lamps come on at the same time. And then after that, I'll have the final UVB lamp come on. So in essence, infrared is going to peak earliest, then visible light will or very nearly peak and then UV is going to peak last. Just in case anyone is wondering the um, timers and stuff for this are up here and as you can see there's quite a few plugs and things and uh, there's the thermostat. The thermostat probe you'll have seen uh, just runs through the back here and goes into that little metal tube there so that we're measuring the correct temperatures. So what I'm going to do now is go around the background and get rid of any clay that I don't want to be there. And then after I've done that, it will be time to finish off this enclosure by adding in some soil and planting it up and putting some extra branches in for more climbing opportunities.
I told you we'd get it done today. As it's turned out, the UV indices that I'm getting are bang on. The heat lamp, which is of a type I've never tried using before, is working exactly as expected. I'm getting the precise desired temperatures that I want. And all in all, I think it looks quite decent. But of course, we've a long way to go yet, because there's no reptiles in here, and there's not much point in a vivarium without any proper inhabitants, is there? So if you want to find out what I am going to be putting in this enclosure, and if you are interested in finding out the specifics about this, so why I chose the lamps that I did, and what those steel tubes are for in the background, then make sure you subscribe and I'll catch you in the next video. So for now, I've been JTB Reptiles teaching you how to follow nature's example, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye guys!